Welcome to the 30 day better balance for ataxia and instability challenge. Welcome to day two. It is amazing that you are here trying out this challenge, putting yourself first. Be so proud of yourself for showing up today. All right, you are amazing. Okay, supplies are optional. You can grab a weight that's optional or that sticky note that has the letter, a letter, a, I don't know, word X or the, a word open. Okay, while I explain our first moves, go ahead and give me some posture. Squeeze those elbows back. Really squeeze those scapulas, okay? Hold that for me. We're going to start with our quadruped exercises. So much research, so good for us, okay? Remember our levels. Level one is sitting, lifting your arms, lifting your legs, maybe at the same time. That's amazing. Level one is supported. Level two is unsupported. Level three, stand at a wall, lean on that wall, and then move those limbs. Okay, that's remarkable. Level four would be to go ahead, turn the chair around, lean on a chair, a desk, a table, kind of like a modified push-up. Level five is on the ground with me. Oh my gosh, you're amazing. All right, get into position. I hope you got a good posture exercise, and then let's get moving here. All right, jump into quadruped, standing, leaning, sitting, you're amazing. Modify this, but this is the move. Arm, arm, arm and leg, they're opposites, arm and leg. If you need to break it down and just do the arm, just do the leg, do that, you're amazing. We're gonna go for one minute. Jump into Tai Chi with me. You're sitting. You're amazing. You're holding on. That's amazing. You can do this in half kneeling or tall kneeling. We're going to do push and clouds. So to do that, one hand is on top and one hand is on bottom. The hand that's on top, that's going to drive you. It's going to push you towards that direction and then you're going to switch. The hand that's on top, pretend like that's your driver, and then switch, all right? One minute, each side, that way if you're holding on, you can switch sides. If you're in tall kneeling or half kneeling, you can switch sides. Go slow, focus on you, not on me.
switch hands if you're holding on, switch sides if you're in half kneeling. If you're in sitting, you're amazing. Quadruped or standing at a wall or sitting. This time it goes leg, leg, arm and leg, arm and leg. Break it down if you need to, okay? You're amazing. One minute. You're remarkable. Huh. All right, if you're on the floor, let's get on up. If you're hanging out and standing, I'll be right there. Okay, while everyone is setting up, give me a chin tuck. Take that chin, tuck it back and down to give yourself a double chin. I want you to hold that while I explain. Give everyone an opportunity if they're on the floor to get back up. <clears throat> okay. Eyes closed. This is so good for us because what we're doing is we're taking away our vision, our visual dependency, and forcing your brain to rely on your remaining sensory systems, including the bottom of your feet, the pressure, the touch pressure vibration to tell your brain, hey, you're on your heels, your toes, forcing your brain to use that and the vestibular system because we're taking away the vision, which is often a crutch. Okay, level one, sitting supported. Level two is unsupported sitting. Level three is hold on to the side or facing. Level four is to let go. Level five is eyes closed and or feet together, eyes closed. All right, you're amazing. I hope everyone caught up here. Let's go ahead, we're gonna do it for one minute.
amazing job. Okay, our fifth exercise. While I explain, give yourself a little time to grab your weight, optional. Okay, we're gonna do a little posture while we're waiting. Robert, take those hands, bring them back and down into the pockets, open up the chest, squeeze the shoulder blades. We need our posture. Okay, bicep curls with an optional step and head turn. Oh my gosh, talk about confusing. Okay, so the, um, the weight is in one hand. Bicep curl is basically where you're bending the elbow, and then I want you to incorporate a head turn if you can. You're gonna turn your head away from the weight. So it looks like this. Okay, not easy. Level one, uh, sub sitting supported. Level two, unsupported. Level three, hold on, okay? Put your safety first. Four is to let go. And five is to add that step or lunge. The opposite leg, it either steps or it lunges. So you can find the right challenge for you. I'm gonna be doing level threes and fours today so everybody feels included. Okay. All right, you can do this. amazing switch sides okay Okay, our sixth exercise. I have to downgrade a little bit because we're gonna be doing kind of like a diagonal. So find the right weight for you. While I explain, go ahead and give me some butt squeezes. So squeeze your butt muscles for about three, five seconds and relax. Hold or keep doing that, please. Okay, here's our exercise. Kind of like a diagonal or draw the sword. Hand goes in the opposite pocket. We're gonna open up and slowly close. Okay, so we're gonna also add, if you can try a diagonal head turn. So you're basically going to watch your weight. You're gonna go up and watch it and down and watch it. It's a diagonal head turn. Level one is supported. Level two is sitting unsupported. You're amazing if you're sitting. Level three, hold on, okay? Level four is to let go. And level five is to add a step or a lunge to the side. So it would look like a step, a lunge, and then a step back. Find the safest and the right challenge for you. Personally, put that safety first. All right, that was a minute of butt squeezes. 
All right, one minute on each side. amazing jab switch sides with me once again if you're sitting oh my gosh great jab Fantastic job. Our seventh exercise. All right, while I explain, give me that elbow dig again. Dig those elbows back and down. Tighten your core. Don't just let your tummy hang out. Tighten the core. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Hold that. All right, we're going to go into a, he a shoulder flexion with a vertical head turn. So please keep your elbow straight and your thumb up. Okay, very slowly, the arm is gonna come all the way up and slowly down. We're gonna add a head turn. I want you to watch that weight. I'll go fast, but add that head turn. Level one is sit supported. Level two is unsupported. Level three, hold on. You're amazing. Level four is to let go. And level five is to add a back step or a back lunge. Okay, the opposite leg either steps back or it lunges. Okay, ooh, that's pretty difficult. Put your safety first, okay? Ooh, that was about 40, 50 seconds. Okay, one minute on each side. You're remarkable. Switch sides with me. No matter what level you're at, you're amazing.
fantastic job. Exercise number eight, our single leg stance. While I explain, give me that chin tuck. Tuck that chin back and down. Not flattering, but so good for you. Okay, <clears throat> single leg stance. If you're sitting, oh, you're awesome. Just extend that knee and hold it up, okay? Hold it. Three to five seconds. Not easy. Sitting supported, sitting unsupported. Level three is to hold on. I'm gonna join you with this. Hold on, single leg stance, three to five seconds. Level four is letting go. Level five is to do a tandem stepping or just a stepping. Feet are on a tight rope, three to five, three to five seconds is what I'm referring to. Even just a stepping three to five is just amazing as well. All right, that was about 50 seconds. You're amazing, let's do this. Remarkable. Switch sides, or if you're level five doing tandem switch, you're amazing. All right, oof, you're sitting, good for you. yourself that was awesome wow you're awesome that was eight exercises we're gonna just go back to those arm uh, the bicep curls the PNF shoulder flexion we're gonna do those one more time and then Tai Chi you're awesome okay while I just kind of review everything go ahead and give me a robber bring those thumbs back and down squeeze the shoulder blades tighten the core muscles don't let them hang out tighten Whew. so good for us okay quick review grab your weights if you need time for that it is a bicep curl and a head turn so curl and look away and down okay sitting supported sitting unsupported you're awesome standing holding on standing letting go standing um, with a either a step or a lunge okay so that would be a forward step look away from the weight or a lunge okay either way you're awesome okay i hope that posture exercise was great during our review one minute on each side turns away from the weight.
fantastic job. Okay, switch weights if you need to because we're gonna do that diagonal opening up. While I explain or give us a review, go ahead and uh, squeeze those butt muscles about three to five seconds, okay? All right, quick review. You're gonna do a diagonal, draw the sword. Hand is in the opposite pocket, slowly up and out, slowly down and in. Watch it with your head, watch it with your eyes. That's our best our VOR cancellation today. Okay, so level one sitting supported, level two unsupported, level three hold on, level four let go, level five step or lunge. You pick, you're amazing. I hope you got that butt squeeze in, which is so good for us. These uh, refreshers are a way to sneak those in. Okay, one minute on each side. more exercises. Go ahead and do those butt squeezes for me three to five seconds while I explain. And you can put that weight down if you have the weight. Okay, vestibulo ocular reflex. This is that dynamic visual acuity. This is so important. Sometimes we um, have impairments in neurological conditions, especially um, ataxia, Parkinson's, multiple sclerosis. So basically you wanna hold up your word, your letter, or put it on a wall. Keep your eyes fixed while your head turns. So it's side to side. Try to go at a speed that's uncomfortable, but not making you too dizzy, okay? Like a level three or so. It's gonna be uncomfortable, but this is how you get better at it. Okay, we're gonna do one minute. The research usually does two minutes three times a day, but this is still great for us.
bang jab. Last one, we're gonna do that Tai Chi. While I explain, we're gonna do one more exercise for posture, that elbow dig. Squeeze back and down, tighten your core muscles. This is fantastic for us. Okay, we're gonna actually go back to the same Tai Chi we did before playing with clouds. One hand is on top, one hand is on bottom. The hand that's on top, that's almost like driving you. The fingers are going that direction, right? So you're gonna turn and you're gonna switch. And then you're gonna turn and you're gonna switch. Level one is sitting supported. Level two, unsupported. Level three, hold on, okay? And then what you can do for that is, uh, I'll tell you when to switch sides. Uh, level four, let go. Level five, you can go ahead and do a tandem or a semi-tandem stand. One foot is in front of the other, okay? Get some good rotation. If that's easy, well, good for you, but you can also close your eyes. Tandem stands, I don't even know, that is so difficult. Go slow, focus on you. Don't look at me, go slow. Okay, good, that was a minute. All right, you can do this. I'll tell you when to switch sides. holding on, switch sides. If you're in tandem or staggered, switch sides. One minute. Remarkable. Great job. Congratulations for finishing day two. That is fantastic. You showed up. You finished. Be so proud of yourself. I hope that you come back. Try this out with me. I know you can do it. Little steps together, we can make some big gains.